Okay, guys, uh, you just finished up. Uh, let's let's hear how it went. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Big <sorry>. sigh. <laughs> well, so uh, did you lose? No. <laughs> I mean, we we traded forms, and then it was down to the hypers fighting, and I managed to get in a really guarded position. And since I'm a blaster and he's a brawler, he was fighting an uphill battle. Yeah. Um, I missed some critical rolls. Any uh, big power ups missed or anything like that? I missed. Two total. Nice. Yeah. That's that's awful. And I think that's <laughs> I, I made one out of three. Wow. So it was pretty brutal. How about you? Did you make any big misses? Um, no. That well, helps. Well, yeah, it does help. You know, Not missing uh, helps. Well, you know, <laughs> I was I was doing the risky thing. You know, power ups. You can roll three. I'm like. I'm gonna roll one and press my luck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turns turns out that lowers your odds just a bit. Yeah. I this is this has been real fun because um, I have I haven't run her for I think over a year. Oh wow. And Steve, uh, Steve and I were talking last night. And he was like, Oh yeah, you should totally run her. I'm like, Okay. And so I've only played one practice game with Israel. I was destroyed. Like it wasn't. I like. I did the like Steve. Steve was like, You need to play aggressive when you're playing with Mega Huracanas. He doesn't talk like that. That's the attitude he conveys. And so I jump across the map, and I'm just. I was dead before I even believed it. I mean, Israel was hyper down teleporting, but he was only three spaces away because I was so deep in his base. He was just. Uh, but it, it worked better this time. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear it uh, for Mega Huracanus' sake because that's one of my favorites. Um, but what was the uh, what was the critical moment in this game that decided it? I think what swung it towards me early on, or at least put him in a fighting uphill thing, is early on in the game I got a toss blast which got him onto the Imperial State Building. That was like three damage, right? It was four damage. Four damage. I think. Or no, wait, blast. It was it was three damage, but I'd also already done uh, an electrical. Power plant. That's where the force So he's out. now at two two health in his alpha, and it's really hard to defend two health. Yeah, it is. And uh, <laughs> thanks to the wonderful protector units, I can also kind of reliably ping on your health. So it yeah. puts you on the clock once you're, you're fighting up hills like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, any uh, expectations or thoughts moving forward? Well, you know what? This is actually my first tournament-style game. Oh, wow. Which actually was kind of nice playing somebody I know. Good, good. 12 hours to play, a hometown <laughs> guy. Um, but you know what? Actually, me and Nate don't get to play a whole lot together back home, so it was kind of a nice, well, good. relax, get into the groove. Good, I'll good. I'll say this. This is the first time I've ever had a RAM used against me in, I think, any Monster Pocalypse game ever. It's Probably the least seen power attack other than like a headbutt or something it was, like that. It was a cool choice. It was like I, I was like he can't damage oh, me. I, he got no blast that. I'm screen. And then oh yeah, he's hitting me with a building. The big angry oh, ape with a train. It's the closest we'll probably ever get to being able to throw a building at somebody. <laughs> Sadly. But anyway, uh, congrats to you both, and uh, right, good luck you. to you in the future rounds. All right, thanks.